talking about the children and um now I, I like to keep some money on me because i don't like to be broke but i'm to the point now where um my son he he, he went to pit community for four years and he only got to go to ecu for two and he's got his own apartment and he you know he tried to work part-time and stuff and i'm like i want to you know kind of be hard on him and, and and let him be without money and stuff and i said no I mean, I'm good. Me and my wife good. So I need to make sure that he keep plenty of money on him so that it'll encourage him to keep doing what he do. You know, we, we, we got we to gotta support our children. Yes. And, and and he's doing good. I mean, he's 25 years old. <laughs> I mean, he could be out doing something else. Right. You know, but he's got his own apartment. He's 
Matter of fact, he was supposed to go to work this evening, and um, um, he got a project. He only got two more weeks to go to school. So my my word is, if if you, if your children are doing good, support them. If, if you gotta give them your last, it ain't about me. I don't, I, don't, I don't, like you said earlier. You 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 want for nothing. You don't need nothing right now. Ain't nothing I need. And and, and, and uh, trustee Nancy. I, I gotta have a dependable car. I gotta go to work. Some things we gotta have. <laughs> gotta have somewhere to, to, to lay my head. I, I, and I tell people they be complaining about the light bill and all that kind of stuff. I ain't gonna be cold and I ain't gonna be hot. <laughs> so uh, that's what I work for. God but 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 I'm I'm gonna make sure my family is taken care of. If if, if they doing something good, I'm gonna give it to them. If I go, if I don't have no money in my pocket, we say broke, but we know we ain't gonna be broke. Yeah. But um, and then sometimes we gotta be careful what we say, what we say and stuff, cause that's, that, that's what I have a problem with too. We are saying one thing, and and and, 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 and you know, it, it ain't totally true. But uh, yeah, but I'm just so proud because I look at other children. You know, parents can't control them. But uh, if your children are doing good, and and that's where it starts. We 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 gotta. And and if you see my child doing good, maybe that'll encourage another child and stuff. So we gotta. We we just gotta rethink this thing in our black community. We 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 got we need to have some coming to Jesus meetings and sit down because it ain't gonna change if we don't if we don't change. Amen. 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 historical items, pictures, updates, corrections, etc. They may be included in the church history book. Please get them 
to a member that may be included in the in the church history book, please give them to a member of the secretary staff no later than September 15th. Women's Day service will be held on May 7th at 11 a.m. Theme Don't Look Back. Theme colors are purple and gold. Sister Bailey is the chairperson. Um, new member orientation will be May 6th at 2 p.m. New, member, new members and member, please provide Minister Howard with updated contact information. Um, DOB email address, phone number address. Um, our next business meeting will be in person on May 6th at 4 p.m. All members to be present. Uh, Saint Stephen will be honoring Pastor Lewis Knight pastoral anniversary on April 23rd at 11 a.m. and 3, 3 p.m. At Saint Stephen, Stephen, I mean, I love it. Yes, Stephen. NBC 208 Pearson, Goldsboro, NC. We encourage every member of the Anderson Chapel Ministry Missionary. Missionary Baptist Church to support and attend all or as many churches functions as possible. We are all one church to support and attend. Oh, oh yeah, you heard, you heard. Yeah. <laughs> we are all one body in Christ. And we need all members of the body working together to keep the body strong and productive. I know you just don't. No. Listen. You just did not. Y'all have a blessed day. Did good, man. Thank you. Let's continue to do it. Thank you. Let's continue to encourage him along the way as we encourage all of our youth. A uh, couple of things uh, just to highlight them. Uh, again, please uh, notate that uh, new members orientation will be May 6th, 2 p.m. I realize that everyone may not be able to be here at that point in time, but uh, as many of our new members as possible, please uh, uh, come out and uh, be a, a, a part of this orientation. Um, I would ask I would ask that uh, the uh, ch chairperson of each ministry to be present that day as we uh, uh, start with this new member orientation. So, for one thing, the reason why I ask that you, the chairperson of each ministry, be here is this way the new members who will know who is the, the leader of that ministry. And uh, on another subject, I say that. Who is the leader? I didn't say who's in charge of that ministry. Who is the leader of that ministry? Amen. Because God is in charge. Of that yes. Right? Amen. 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 And uh, also, just uh, for those of you that may attend uh, the Pastor Sunday and you put it in your GPS, please note that it's 206 Pearson Street, not 208, 206 Pearson Street. So thank God for, for you. Continue to pray one for another. Pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen us and encourage us along the way. Uh, today is uh, uh, our youth day, and uh, you know I'm, I'm just highly impressed at uh, the, uh, the crowd that we've had in here. Uh, and we ought to love them and nurture them just like any good mother would love and nurture them. Yeah. Yeah. Not, that was not in my uh, notes to begin with, but. It was worthy to be said, and thank God for, for each of you. Uh, at this time, we're going to have our welcome uh, by Sister Jamie Braswell.
fellow this morning, but they're going to sing for the glory of the Lord. Amen. Tell them this morning, if they're doing what they do for the Lord, the Lord will give them the harmony, the Lord will give them the music, and the lyrics will touch the hearts and minds of the people. So let us rise to our feet. As this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord, Father, give us our own resolution.
morning. Good morning. First, give it honor to God, who is the head of my life. Pastors, deacons, mothers, and saints of grace, please stand for the reading of God's word. I will be reading Luke 22, Luke 12 through 22. And he shall shoot you a large upper room, furnished there, make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready to made ready the passenger. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him and he said unto them with desire I have decided to eat desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer for I say unto you I will not any more eat through of their out thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup, thanks, and said, Take this and divide it amongst yourselves. For I said unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This this does in remembrance of me. Likewise, also the cup after supper, saying, This this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. Let's give on to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Pastor, Minister Howard, Dean Mother says thank you. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Father, yes, who art in heaven, yes. how be thou name. Yes. Lord, this is your low and humble servant. Yes. Yes. Coming before you once again just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you. All that you have done for me, for my family, for the whole world, Lord. Yes. I thank you for what you've done to our for our church family. Yes. Lord, I pray that I thank you, Lord, if you do not do another thing for me. Yes. I want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for waking us up this morning. Yes. Lord, I thank you that our family circle wasn't broken. Yes. Lord, we thank you was we woke up in our right mind. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for touching us with your finger of love. Yes. And Lord, I want you to pierce our heart, Lord. Yes, Lord. And take all hatred out, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Put peace. Yes. Put love. Yes. Put understanding in our hearts, Lord. Yes. Lord, let us not only be hearers of your word. Yes, Lord. But Lord, let us be doers of your word. Come on, Lord. Yes. Lord, we want you to. Bless the sick this morning, Lord. Yes, Lord. Or wherever they may be. Yes. Lord, we want you to take strife out of our life. Lord. Yes. Take jealousy out of our life. Yes. Take hatred and backstabbing out of our yes. life. Yes. Lord, I want you to come in and touch our church family this Do morning. Yes. Lord, we need it, Lord. Yes. We need it, Lord. Yes. Lord, whatever that we're doing that is wrong, you yes. said it right for us, Lord. Yes. Put us on the right path, Lord. Yes. We have to be careful for what we ask for because we know not how you would do it. Yes, we do not know what we have to suffer yes, to go sir. through to get on the right path. Yes, but right. Lord, put us on the right path so that one day we can have heaven as our home. Yes. Lord, we, thank you. we pray that you take our pastor down in the storeroom. Yes. Bring him out with boldness, Lord. Yes, Lord, don't let him be afraid to speak your word. Lord, don't let us be 
be afraid to be healed Jesus. and do a, a yes, yes. In all things, we pray in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
tonight at this time. We ask all these things in your name, and in your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. First, second hand, let's like have some.
Pharisees are not able to escape from Jesus. They admire his skill at answering their questions, but they despise him later. Jesus warns his people against doing good deeds, just so other people can see them do and be impressed. Mm -hmm. As he speaks, he sees a money temple offering. Jesus. The widow has given more than anyone else because she has given everything she has to God. After this, Jesus leaves the temple for the last time. Outside Jerusalem, the crowds swept over Mount Olives. Some of the disciples asked Jesus about the future. Jesus explains that the gospel will spread through the whole world, and then he will come again to judge the world. Passover Bible. Jesus and his disciples return to Bethany later that night. Judas hurries to Jerusalem to carry out his idea to see Sam. After Jesus watches for the right time to turn this over to the Jewish leaders, while Judas is striking a deal with the chief priest, Jesus is thinking of a the Passover. Jesus calls Peter and John aside. Jesus, when you go to the city, you will see a man carrying a bread of water. Follow him home. Ask for the owner of the house to show the room where you can eat Passover. Peter and John go right away. They find a servant carrying a bread of water and follow him home. The man who owns the house shows Peter and John the big upper room. There they get ready for the Passover meal. As the disciples get ready to enjoy the meal, Jesus kneels at a, like a servant to wash their feet. Unless I wash you, Peter, you can't share in the life with me. After Jesus washes all the disciples' feet, he sits down at the table with them. Jesus teaches the disciples, but they don't understand everything he says. Mm -hmm. Then he makes a startling statement. Jesus, one of you wants you to betray me. Immediately, Judas gets up from him. He says it and hurries out. But the other disciples do not understand why. The Lord tells them. After Judas the traitor leaves, Jesus takes up a piece of bread. He thanks God and he breaks it and gives it to his disciples. He says, This is my body. And Jesus offers them a cup. This is my blood, which will be good for your sins. As I am gone, drink it so drink it to remember me. Mm -hmm. So Jesus makes a new covenant between God and his people who believe in Jesus. When we take the bread and cup in the name of Jesus, remember that God sent his son to save us from our sins and give us eternal life. The disciples are frightened at the thought of Jesus leaving. Why are we to leave the upper room and walk through the narrow dead street of the city? They go out a gate on the east side of the walk of the east side and walk across a valley to the garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane on the Mount of Olives. Jesus asks eight of his disciples to wait while he takes Peter, James, and John deeper into the garden. When Jesus returns to Peter, when Jesus returns to Peter, James, and John, he finds them sleeping. He goes off the room to pray two more times. Each time he returns, he finds his sons asleep. The third time, Peter, wake up, it's time. One of the one who betrayed me is coming. As Jesus speaks, Jesus bursts through the garden leading the crowd. He pushes Jesus to see his soldiers to two of us. As the soldiers grab Jesus, Peter switches to his sword and finally slashes the ear off the soldier. Jesus gently touches the soldier's ear and heals him. When the disciples see that Jesus is letting himself be arrested, they run for their lives. The soldiers take Jesus back to Jerusalem, the city he has entered the country a few days before. On After being arrested, Jesus is not is taken not to the palace of the highest priest. False witnesses accuse him of crimes he didn't commit, but they can't can't prove anything. Finally, Caiaphas, the high priest, questions Jesus himself, answering the men who are guarding who are guarding Jesus against spitting on him. They blindfold him and put him in the face, demanding that they prove his powers by saying he struck him. Peter is secretly following Jesus into the city. While Jesus is struggling, Jesus answers. Peter says he doesn't know Jesus twice. This is the third time Peter says he doesn't know Jesus. Then the guards lead Jesus through the courtyard. Jesus turns and looks straight at Peter. And at the same moment, Peter appears as if to throw, signaling the sun rain. He remembers what Jesus said. Peter rushes outside and weeps bitterly. Peter, 
Give not give not thy heart to deny Jesus. Just as he said, it was God forgive me. The Jewel High Court is now about to face the first appeal. So in the early hours of Friday morning, they take Jesus to the Roman building. Pilate. Currently, they don't charge him with the breaking blo- breaking Jewish laws, but with treason against Rome. Pilate questions Jesus privately, but he faced the reckless mob. Death sentence. Pilate is afraid to make the Jews angry because he does not want reports of, to, of trouble to reach the empire of Rome. Pilate is desperate, responsible for what has happened to Jesus. Pilate is stunned. He tries to satisfy the crowd with a lesser punishment after the whipping closes with him on back to the town and thrust it on Jesus' head. They put a purple robe on him and make fun of him. Pilate tries one more time to save Jesus, showing the crowd that he's been wickedly beaten. Pilate is more and more afraid of the trouble the Jewish leaders might cause. Finally, he gives up, but Pilate makes a sign to put over Jesus' head. Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. For Jesus, the hours between his arrest and the beginning of his sentence to die had been filled with agony. Sometimes during these dark hours, the traitor Judas is filled with fear. He rushes to the chief police, but returning the money cannot face the men before him. Overcome with guilt, Judas goes out and hangs himself. Crucified. For days excited, for days excited Jews swarm all over Palestine have crowded into Jerusalem for the Passover feast. But on Friday morning, the city is greeted with a startling, with a startling news. Jesus of Nazareth is going to be crucified for treason. Jesus is now in the hands of the Roman soldiers who force him to carry a heavy cross through the streets to a hill called Golgotha. Gol- 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 the place of the skull. As, as Jesus stumbles under the weight of his cross, the streets filled with strangers, mixes of spectators, mourners, priests, and people who demand Jesus' death, many weeping for men who forgive the sins and heal the sick, cheers on the first who comes. All the only one is who the command men carry his cross. Six robbers are sent to crucifixion as well. On the way, Jesus calls over the weight of the heavy cross to keep the ugly progressing moving. Roman officers seized by a bystander, find the most startling. They forgot nine o'clock in the morning when Jesus and the two robbers reached Golgotha. Soldiers nailed, nailed the Son of God to the cross between the robbers. Pilate signs him over his head, Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Jesus, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. To the Roman soldiers, Jesus is just another criminal. They notice that Jesus is, it has a knife sword. As Jesus turns in watching his suffering, the curious crowds pass by. Some who want him to die taunt him. One of the robbers, robbers crucified with Jesus throws insults at him. Jesus looks down and sees his mother, Mary, and his friends dying at the foot of the cross, watching his agony. John takes Mary in his own home and cares for her like his own mother. It is noon. A strange shadow covers the land. Jesus suffers for, the, for three hours in the dark sky and then cries out to God. Jesus says, Father, I put my spirit in your hand. Jesus dies. At that moment, an earthquake shakes the ground. At the, at the very same moment in Jerusalem, on a hill called Calvary, the Son of God gave his life for the sins of the world. The vial in the temple no more. Mother, mother separate, separates us from the presence of God. Jesus, the Son, opens to God the Father. The sealed tomb. Reverently, Joseph takes the body of Jesus from the cross. Nicodemus helps Joseph wrap the body in the and place it in Joseph's garden. So the tomb is sealed with a heavy stone and Roman soldiers stand guard. But before the sun can rise on Sunday morning, the earth shudders, shudders violently. An angel of the Lord rolls the heavy stone aside. The soldiers fall to the ground in terror. 
When the Empress just got it, they flew back to the city. At dawn that morning, Mary met the woman in her church, and other friends of Jesus heard their hymn. Now that the Sabbath is over, they want to put spices on Jesus, body for a proper burial. They wondered who would help them move the stone. But when they reached the garden, the tomb was open. Mary went back to Jesus to tell Peter and John that someone had stolen Jesus' body. The other women go to the tomb and find an angel to see it there. By the time they return to the garden, the others have gone. They stand outside the tomb crying. Someone speaks to them. Tenderly, Jesus speaks to Mary, speaks to Mary's name. He recognizes his voice. Mary, Master, she eats with him in Emmanuel. When Jesus blesses the bread and hands it to his, to his followers, they tell he recognizes him, Jesus. Oh God, that you 
Touch your minds, oh God. You touch their hearts, oh God, like only you can, oh God. Oh God, we ask that you give them a peace that surpasses all understanding. Oh God, we come to you right now, oh God, asking you to just touch our youth, oh God. Oh God, touch the parents, oh God. Your word said that if we train them up, oh God, in the way that they should go, when they grow old, they will not depart, oh God. Oh God, so allow our... God, our life, oh God, can be just like you, oh God. Yes, for that, God, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you. Oh God, we ask right now, oh God, that you touch each and every person upon the sound of my voice, oh God. Touch the man of God, oh God, who's going to bring forth your word, oh God. Oh God, just continue to replenish us, oh God, so that we can do your work, we can do your what you have for us to do, oh God. And for that, God, we just want to tell you thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
you know, you'll, you'll get to know that in a few more weeks. Mm. Uh, but uh, he has a uh, he has a way of making everything a, a big production. Mm. So uh, we ask that I will just continue to encourage our uh, young people, encourage our uh, advisors and uh, parents, just to keep holding up. I ask our ourselves and our this one question: In all that we do, what is your motive? In all that you do, what is your motive for the things that you do? Those who the Bibles for the book of James chapter 1. James chapter 1. And verse 19. We're going to begin reading in verse 19. It says, Wherefore, my brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay upon all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the entire and God engrafted word which is able to save your soul. But be ye hearers, doers, excuse me, thank you, be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. And he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner a man he is. But whosoever, whoso looketh at the perfect law of liberty and continues therein, he be it not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word. This man shall be blessed in his feet. If any man among you seem to be religious and brighteth not the tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is in thee. Pure religion, an undefiled before God. And the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world, from the world. Keep himself unspotted from the world. Perfect. Gracious Father, we come again to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for another day that you have blessed us with. And Father, I pray, Lord, we ask that I would take now from out of this way, the Lord. Father God, we use you, the Lord. Send the preacher, the Lord. Right. Preach your word, dear Lord. Dear Lord, use my mind to store out some new wisdom that this same spirit of Bible needs your children that someone may profess Jesus as Lord of their life. Father, we just give you the glory and honor and praise and we thank you for all that you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you and we see We'll thank God for another day, another opportunity that he has provided for us. And I want to uh, tell you this morning that uh, we are not purposed to be long today, but we want to share just a brief word with you because we want you to continue to think about the message that Sister Dupree gave within the resurrection. Amen. I know last Sunday was Easter Sunday. But there's always time to think about what Christ has done for us. How we suffered and died. And uh, this, uh, this Sunday is the Sunday that our young people can likewise celebrate Easter here in this sanctuary. We thank Amen. God for them. So, wherefore, my brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak. Slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. And again, ask you the question today what is your motive? What is your motive? That 20th verse there. Tells us that if we try to 
extract wrath from man. It's not working the wrath of God. We are get caught up in ourselves and if truth be known, we are like a caged animal that's been backed into a corner. And when someone comes to us, we are ready to jump and to defend ourselves. Because of the nature of man. But the word that James is sharing here with his readers, verse 19, he says that we ought to be slow. We ought to be slow to speak. And swift to hear. Slow to wrath. There is a strange occurrence in nature that God has given to us. Yet, one mouth, two ears, two eyes. Now, watch this here. Young people. Not only young people, but all alike. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do right now is, and most of you already have done this, because I don't hear many ages, <laughs> close your mouth. Show the other day and on this show, they say, we'll, this is what we're going to do. 
we're going to cause a distraction. Mm. And then you'll be able to do this and do that. And you know, this is what Satan is doing within our lives. Yeah. Not only is he causing distractions in our yeah. personal life, but he's causing distraction in the church. Yeah. He's causing yeah. distraction in the world. Yeah. We're so yeah. caught up in economic. We're worried about the gas prices. Yeah. We're worried about we're worried about COVID. We're worried yeah. about this. We're worried about that. All of this yeah. is a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That keeps us from focusing on yeah. the word yeah. of God. Yeah. Yeah. In this book, yeah. it's life, health, and spirit. Yeah. In this book, yeah. it's prosperity. Yeah. In this book, it's discipline. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And this is one of the reasons why we get so scared. Because one, we like the life. Mm -hmm. We like the health. Mm -hmm. We like the prosperity. But we don't like the discipline. Amen. Amen. We don't like the discipline. Oh yeah. You know, you know, uh, uh, Jesus was speaking with his disciples, mm -hmm. and he said something, and Peter took an exception to what Jesus was saying, and Peter uh, re called himself rebuking the Lord mm -hmm. and said that never would these things happen. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was telling him, him, them, while he must suffer and die, and on the third day that he will rise again, Peter rebuked him and began to say, be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not happen to thee. Mm -hmm. All right. Jesus turns to him, get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. right. Was Jesus speaking to Peter? Yes. He was speaking in Peter's direction. Yeah. Yeah. But he was rebuking Satan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we can let Satan have the ring in our life. Yeah. Yeah. My mother used to sing that song, Don't Let the Devil Ride. Yeah. Or if you let him ride, he'll want to drive. Yeah. Don't let him ride. Yeah. We got to be careful this morning, church of the living yeah. God, yeah. of how we let Satan into yeah. our midst. Yeah. 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 Because Satan is trying to get in. He's trying to disrupt everything that God has planned. But I want to let you know that Jesus, just a few moments before, he told him to get thee behind me. He told them that thou art Peter. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, upon this rock I will build my church. And the very gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I want to let you know this morning that God's word will stand no matter what's going on. Heaven and earth may pass away. You may pass away. I may pass away. But the word of God will stand. So this morning, what is your purpose? Amen. Amen. This morning, what is your objective? This morning, do you want to let your word stand? When people mistreat you and abuse you, do you want your wrath to be taken out on them just so that you can avenge yourself? Or will you turn them over to God this morning? Let God have this way. Church of the living God, when Jesus told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. You know, Peter could have got ruled riled up. He could have got upset. And I know this morning, if I was to speak to some of you this morning and tell you to get thee behind me, Satan, many of you are going to rise up against me and what gives you the right to call me Satan. You're no better than I am. I know I'm no better than you are because we are all sinners saved by the grace of God. But one day I do know that there is a way to see the brightest of men, but the end thereof is destruction. And somebody's got to tell the story. And it's not about it's not about being be, be, being uh, uh, kind. It's, 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 it's not about being uh, precious to one another. It's not about preferring one over another. But if the word of God has said it, I can't change it. The word of God says, for the wages of sin is yeah. death. Yeah. Yeah. But the yeah. gift of God is eternal life. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't help how no matter how much you try to make your sin seem right, yeah. Yeah. it's still death. Yeah. No matter how you try to dis disavow what Christ has done, 
that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, yeah. it's still true. Yeah. Right. He loved us, every one of us. He doesn't show favors to any of us. Just because it looks like one has received a little more than the other, it's not favors towards him. It's just because the blessings of the Lord are coming. And the way the Lord has blessed me may be different than the way that he's blessed you. Because he looked beyond all of my faults and he saw my need. He looked beyond all your faults and saw your need. But through it all, we have a story to tell. When we look back over our lives and we realize that we have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. When I think about all that men and women has said or done to me, yes, amen. I have to hold on and say, Lord, I thank hold you on. for bringing me through. Yes. There are those in here that will talk about me. Yes. There are those in here that will scandalize yes. your name. Yes. But church of a living God, yes. if your yes. motive is to serve God, yes. you don't worry about that yes. anymore. Right. Because you know yes. that I'm serving a true yes. and living God. Yes. I'm serving one who was able to yes. save my yes. soul. Yes. And I know that in due time, yes. in due season, yes. when right. things are at their yes. utmost, yes. God yes. will come and stand yes. by my side. Yes. Church of a living God, when it looks like I'm going down yes. for the last time, yes. I'm still able to cry out, Father, have mercy on me. And he keeps way down and he picks me up. Children, I want to let you know this morning, I know you're serving in a young life. Some of you are only three, four, five, 18 years old. But God has done something for you. You might not be able to tell the story like Deacon Knight tells the story. But I tell you one thing. You have a story to tell. You have a life to live. You have a God to glorify. So whatever you do, whatever your motive be, let your motive be to serve God, to trust Him, to praise Him, to hold on to God's unchanging hand. And even on my dying bed, I pray that the Lord will deliver me. For one day I want to be around his glorious kingdom. And I want to sing the heavenly song. I want to sing with the angels. I can't sing down here, but I sing up there. How I got over. Lord, I thank you for another day. God, you'll be good to me. Jesus is my rock. Thank you, loving God, for dying on the cross for a poor sin for a wretch like me. What is your motive? What is your motive? Is your motive to defend yourself? Or is it to serve and praise God? People are going to talk about it. They're going to do so much, so many things to you. And I want to let you know, you ask the A's saints, and they'll tell you, it seems like the closer you get to the Lord, the more the enemy tries to pull you. The closer you get, you'll find out the more I pray, the more they talk about me. The more I sing, the more they talk about me. But I want to let you know, you don't have to worry about that. But Jesus say, I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am, there he may be. And I'm so glad that he's sitting on the right hand side of the cross. And he's looking down, pleading my case and your case. Every child of the king, everyone that has professed Jesus as Lord and Savior. Yes, right. Now this is not for everyone now. Jesus. You've got people <coughs> that say I love you. But not everyone that says Lord, Lord. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, the king. Yeah. Yeah. Church of a living God. Yeah. No matter how good you may be. Yeah. And there's some good people in the world. Yeah. 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 But they're still going to miss the mark. Yeah. 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 But Jesus yeah. say that I am the way, the truth, yeah. and the life. Yeah. It's not by works. It's by faith. It's by faith. The word of God today from the children of God.
that we're not alone. Oh, Sister Dupree has given us uh, something to think about. And you yeah. and you All know, right, think man. about the expression of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But the word says, how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be saved? So the word of God will deliver to you today. So that you may know that no matter what you have done in your past, there is a new life waiting for you. That new life is in Jesus Christ. And we extend the invitation to you this morning. If there shall be one that have heard the word of God this morning. And you want to make it right with God. Because no matter how hard you try this morning, you close your mouth. You close your eyes. But you couldn't close your ears. So I know if you were in this building this morning, you heard the word. You may be looking at your tablet. You may be looking all around. But you heard the word this morning. And I want to let you know the word of God says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come up to the Father but by me. So this morning, if you want to be saved, if you want to acknowledge him as Lord and Savior, as the choir shall give us a selection of this show. We do a sin on the picture. You may come. This may be your last opportunity. I don't know. It may be my last opportunity to stand and deliver this word. I don't know. But one thing I do know that God loves you. Yes. He loves you. How do I know? Because his son died on the cross. He didn't have to do it. He said, Father, if he died real, we do this little cup. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. He could have at any time called a legions of people to come and take him off the cross. But he didn't do that. He stayed submissive to the Father. He died for your sins and my sins. And on the third day, he rose again. Let us stand as the cross and give us a selection. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Completely.
our accomplishment. Clay is trying to be here at his company. It's going to be some very important things that need to be taken care of, and we need your input on it. And the second thing is, uh, yes, Sister Bradwell, you please stand. Sister Bradwell is uh, going to be doing our uh, CPR class for the church. And anyone that uh, would like to be C CPR certified, call Karen. Someone is going to come out and teach us and, and also <coughs> certify us uh, with the car so that when you have a person here, they can take your home. So that's everyone from 8 to what, 12 to, to uh, I don't know how high it goes, but uh, 12 and above. 12 and above. So please, please. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. There is a cost with that, with that uh, and, uh, for you know, the certain stuff that, that the church is going to try to do the best we can. But since we're doing the CPR certification, please extend it to the community and let them know what the cost of it is. So, is that fine? Because we need this is very important to be CPR certified because you never know who you may need it.